Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. As always, as you can see, we are on our Let's Clash account. We've got a whole lot of loot. I did a bunch of raiding earlier. Um, we've got full army camps. So we are going to... I'm going to show y'all... Um, why don't we go ahead and go to the attack log um, and show you a couple of these raids. Let's watch... Um, shoot, we did really good. Let's watch this 100% right here. Um, I love finding bases like this, especially when I am rolling with Barch. And Barch is going to be so much better after this update. So we're just going to spread out all of our barbarians. Actually, this is more of a... Uh, what is it, a gab or a bag strategy? Uh, goblins, archers, barbarians. Um, I bring the goblins with me, obviously, to help get as much loot as possible. So the barbarians do a great job of just taking all of the all of the defensive shots while the archers take out the defenses that are shooting at them. Uh, you can see we work our way into the middle. Everything practically was in those collectors. So that was awesome. Um, and then we have a herd, a massive herd of archers right here just crushing everything in their way uh absolutely annihilating it with all their arrows so that was a great raid a great find 230,000 gold 197,000 elixir and then there they go running off towards that builder's hut at the end to finish it off um so that was a great raid that was one of the ones that got us up here with all of this loot and then let's go ahead and check out uh let's watch this one again this was 61% um, and all of this loot however is in the middle of the base So we're gonna go ahead and take out that mortar right there and we're gonna drop off all of our barbarians again as a great um, As a great tanking or <clears throat> Meat shield if you will so the archers can come up behind them and shoot so um, a lot of the barbarians are already down But we're gonna drop off a couple of goblins right there and then here go all of the archers. They are slowly working their way in. There go the goblins again. They're going to be a great distraction for that cannon. Um, and for right now, you can see that those archers at the bottom right are an awesome distraction as well for that mortar. So we're going to take out that last mortar. And then we're going to get into the center right here. That wizard tower is down, which was causing a lot of damage. But we also have that mortar over there to deal with. But it is distracted on the king and the barbarian. So there we go. We just got 247,000 gold from the middle of this base. Uh, there is 148,000 elixir over there, but sadly, sadly, I do not believe, I don't think that we get it. Um, the king's still going to work on this wall, uh, and yeah, so that's gonna be it. We got a little bit of dark elixir from it, um, but that was a great raid as well. That one was a little bit harder. Uh, it was very important to take out that mortar. Um, it was very important, like I just said, to take out that mortar. You know, one thing I think I'm gonna do to this base real quick, I think I'm gonna take this, uh, uh, no, I was thinking about putting this right here, um, but I don't think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> um, okay, so why don't we go ahead, let's see what we can upgrade. We have this, this is going to be done in an hour. I'm not going to use the gems because I don't buy gems on this account, so I have to save them for whenever I stream and, and boost and whatnot. My hair looks hilarious right now. Um, so we're going to leave that right there. I do, however, think that I'm going to take uh, one of these spring traps and put it right there and take one of these spring traps and put it right there so this is going to be done soon that's going to be a level 10 this is level 10 this is level 10 so we have two more archer towers that we need to get up to level 10 so we're honestly we're probably going to upgrade one of those um our dragons still have five days left on them which is a really freaking long time but um it's okay we'll end up being just fine uh so why don't we go ahead and finish off <clears throat> this so we're going to upgrade this it will be done in five days and then that is going to be maxed out for this level and thankfully with this new update coming out, I think we'll be able to max out these walls pretty easily uh, for Town Hall 8. So once we get to uh, level 8, we can no longer go up as you just saw right there. So uh, hopefully we can, once we train up all of our troops and everything, we can just go after the walls and max this out. We are going to max this entirely out. Uh, I don't know about the king. Um, we might try and get him up to... I don't know, maybe level 7 or something. Uh, I don't want to go too high with them because that could take forever and that might get boring. But, I mean, we could do Dark Elixir Farming uh, series or something like that. Um, so, why don't we go ahead. So, we've uploaded, uploaded. So, we upgraded that Archer Tower right there. And now we have some troops to use. But let's see if we have any. So, we can't upgrade that. So, that's done. Um, I can. Can I upgrade my Dark Elixir Drill? Where is my Dark Elixir Drill? Did you guys take my Dark Elixir Drill? I'm looking at it over here. It's right here. 
Uh, ooh, so yeah, so we're still gonna need 700,000 elixir in order to upgrade that, but we are slowly getting there, guys. With that other archer tower finalizing, um, we are only gonna have one more to go after this, and then we should be good. I'm gonna look for better bases than that because that one isn't that good. Um, and then, like I just said, once a new update comes out and we can use Elixir, it's going to be great. We are going to upgrade all of our walls and just make a sweet Town Hall 8. And I'm not going to say I'm going to push because I freaking hate pushing. <laughs> I'm not I'm not good at pushing. I, I mean, I'm not afraid to say that. I like farming a lot better and just kind of messing around. But um, we will see what we can do <clears throat> once the new update comes out and we get new Dark Elixir troops. We get new Barbarians and Archers. So I guess I'm actually going to have to save a lot of my elixir for that um as well so whew, let's see what we're doing we can't find a single freaking base here we go so we'll attack this base um as you can see a lot of it is on the sides uh up here at the top and then we're gonna throw some goblins up here and then let's throw some archers down here so that they can uh jump over the walls not jump over the walls they're not hog riders and get some of that gold for us we're gonna drop off these goblins because they make great wall breakers uh, to get into the center of the base right there. We'll spread a couple more out over here to distract those mortars. And now we are inside the walls. <clears throat> we should be able to, I'm going to drop off these goblins as well. And once again, they're going to work as wall breakers for us and completely uh, annihilate those walls and hopefully get into the center right there. Let's go ahead and just use our king because we're only going to do uh, one raid in this video with him. And there they go. I really want the archers to head closer towards the center uh, towards those mortars. There we go. Come on, take out that mortar. All right, so we got one mortar down. The other one is almost down. No, go for the mortar, please. Please go for the mortar. Please go for the mortar. All right, so they're not going to go for the mortar, but we are going to get a good amount of elixir from <coughs> elixir. I just said elixir. We're going to get a lot of elixir from that storage right there as well. Our king's working his way around the outside being an idiot. We're just going to save his health for defense. So 120,000, 147,000, not too bad. I'm definitely happy with that, uh, especially for Barch. And so the way that I train this up, guys, I just fill up one. I just fill up one all with archers because I'm not really too particular about it. I fill up one all with goblins. And you can throw in some wall breakers if you want to if you're having trouble getting in the walls. But honestly, as long as the defenses are focused on the barbarians, then your goblins will make a great set of wall breakers as they run towards the wall. So... Definitely make sure that you guys try that out. I hope that you like this episode of Let's Clash. Uh, ooh, I'm excited for the update tomorrow, guys. Definitely look out for that video, and we will uh, we'll get that out for y'all, and it'll be great. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see what the new troop is. Again, guys, comment down below if you think you know what it is for sure. People are saying gargoyles. People are saying a whole bunch of different things, but... Who knows what it is. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.